Hey there, fight fans. In today's video, former five-weight boxing world champion Floyd Mayweather made a wild offer to Francis Ngannou. And former UFC champ Demetrius Johnson is confident that leaving the UFC would benefit Ngannou, while UFC fighter Curtis Blades explains why Ngannou's departure from the UFC could be a mistake. However, many fans believe that Francis may have overestimated his importance to today's mixed martial arts world, as Ngannou's personal brand value appears to be plummeting. Francis has not stepped into the octagon for over a year. Later on in this video, former UFC champ champ Conor McGregor insulted the former lightweight title holder Habib Nurmagomedov, while Patty Pimblett upset his fans with a statement. So before we kick off this video, I just want to ask you to please subscribe to our channel. Here are the statistics. 91.4% of the people that watch don't subscribe, while only 8.6% of people with a sub do. So thank you all in advance for your support. Now, as you already know, Francis Ngannou officially left the UFC in early 2023, sparking extensive discussions about his future. Although many expected other promotions to immediately want to sign him, but it's been a few months now and Ngannou is still undecided on a new contract and even discipline. Does he do boxing or does he do MMA? But it seems that Ngannou finally got a serious offer. Recently, the former five-weight boxing world champ Floyd Mayweather offered a, I think, crazy offer. Follow me. Mayweather is willing to sign a promotional deal with Francis Ngannou to pursue a career as a former UFC champion in professional boxing, saying, I would love to work with Francis Ngannou. I'd love to sign him to Mayweather Promotions. Mayweather went on to tell Bet Online he is incredible, he has top-notch skills, and if he wants to fight one of the best guys in the heavyweight division, he has to do it. Now, Mayweather is confident that the Predator has what it takes to compete with the elite of professional boxing, saying, undoubtedly, with his size, strength, and power, anything is possible. He's very cool and can make a splash in the heavyweight division. Now, as we know, Ngano is going to have his next fight in professional boxing, and then he plans to return to MMA under the PFL or one championship banner. They love you when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> And many are sure that Ngannou made the right decision as he could get a lot of money for the boxing match. For example, former UFC champion Demetrius Johnson spoke out regarding Francis Ngannou's departure from the organization saying, I think leaving the UFC is good for Ngannou. There are many houses in MMA. I've had success outside of the UFC. Look at Sergio Pettis. He's in a great place. Anthony Pettis earned $700,000 from Roy Jones. There is money outside the UFC as well. Francis Ngannou can choose where he goes, Johnson said on the MMA Hour. Now, we agree, but the biggest problem that Francis has is the incredible belief in his personal brand. Having already upset the UFC, Ngannou thought his name would bring in millions without any extra effort. But now he has faced the harsh reality in which no one will give him this extra money. Now Ngannou should be nostalgic for the days when the UFC president offered him some hefty fees. But many fans believe that Francis simply overestimated his importance to today's mixed martial arts world. Now UFC fighter Curtis Blades is confident that the former heavyweight champ will earn about $5 million in just one boxing match. Did Ngannou make a mistake by leaving the UFC? No, I think that it is enough for him to have one fight in which he will earn about $5 million for this to become a victory for him. I believe it will happen, so I don't think it was a mistake," Curtis said at a press conference prior to the UFC fight night, which will be taking place on April 23rd in Las Vegas. Now the problem is that Ngannou's personal brand, though, is really plummeting in value. Francis has not been in the octagon for over a year, therefore his name no longer causes a lot of excitement and he will not be able to dictate the terms, but the monsters from the PFL or one championship could. Chachari said to me, he said, Chael, as you know, we're in talks with Francis, and he said, I predict you're gonna hear some big news on Francis coming very soon. 
And I said, oh, really? Why'd Chachari say he thinks there's gonna be some big news? Why'd he say that? So let's see what happens. Now, in any case, we do wish him that he does return to the octagon or even a boxing ring as soon as possible so that he could earn his millions. But moving on. Former UFC champ champ Conor McGregor insulted former lightweight title holder Habib Nurmagomedov. The Irishman criticized him in the course of a discussion about whether fighters can give their fee to an opponent in case of defeat. One of the users on social media wrote to McGregor saying, You still owe Habib your fee for the fight. Habib is a fat, busty woman with breasts, man, Connor replied. Now, earlier, it became known that Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis agreed to give their entire fee to the winner of their upcoming fight, which will be taking place on the night of April 23rd, also in Las Vegas. Connor McGregor called the undefeated lightweight boxer's decision stupid saying, has any competing fighters bet their purse against each other and then followed through? We should stop doing this. Fighting is tough. It can go away. Luck plays a hell of a part. Don't be saying you are betting your fight purse against each other because it never happens and it's stupid. Train hard, fight hard, earn your dough, and then enjoy it. God bless. Connor then went on saying, I'm making more than the entire roster put together, so it's impossible, he added, responding to a fan who told him to make a similar bet with Michael Chandler. I could put it in a part, but it's funny, so no. It's a game, and the longer you're in it, the tougher it gets. I'm saving my hard-earned money for my loved ones. A British UFC prospect, Eddie Pimblett, has shared details regarding his leg injury. He received it in December of last year during a fight with Jared Gordon at UFC 282. Pimblett did win the fight, but he went on to say, I had to undergo surgery after my previous fight. I hurt my leg in the first round. I think it happened in about the first minute or maybe in the second. I remember feeling something, but giving up is not in my rules. In the end, I had to have surgery. How long will I be on crutches? Maybe six more weeks. I'll still be lucky if I can fight it all this year. Now, we figure as he continues to recover, fans will be hoping to see Pimblet return to the octagon soon and will continue his ascent in the sport. People started going crazy with the expectation of this kid to hit the curtain. But again, online, never in my life have I seen the comments and all these things turn faster than it did on Patty Pimblet in that fight. The whole Jared Gordon did so well. He only done well because my ankle was the lad Joe Selecki beat you, but you got a split decision, so shut your mouth. And what do you think the UFC are going to do? I have no idea, but I haven't heard of any matchups simply because Paddy has been injured. And uh, yeah, he can't fight anyone right now because he's injured. He's had surgery. It's going to be a few months. Well, come on back, Paddy. Is he already miss you? And that is all for today. If you did like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And moving on to the next video.